Larry, one thing we haven't touched on is actually the, the changes um, in the, I guess, surroundings of President Trump, right? There, there are people that he's put, like John Bolton, that are much more vociferous, bellicose, whatever you want to call it. Does that, I mean, is that priced into the markets when it comes, for example, to dealing with Syria? It's hard really to know, I suppose, what is priced. And we've just heard about the tremendous degree of ambiguity, the inability to f resolve fundamentally the issues at hand, whether they are the struggle of great powers, the civil war, the use of chemical weapons. John Bolton himself, in speaking about the Middle East, has really, I, I think, given two messages in his career. One was non-intervention a few years ago. He's obviously been associated with the kind of the, the interventions in the Middle East at earlier times and his advocacy thereof. So I'm not sure it's, it's easy for markets to sort of price these things. At the end of the day, notwithstanding the horrible human tragedy that is ongoing there, the markets have to determine how this affects sort of fundamental aspects of growth, let's say, or of the supply of certain raw materials, including energy. And if they feel that it doesn't, um, it may sound callous, but beyond that human tragedy, the response to the markets will be relatively subdued. But if there is the escalations that we've just heard about, then that changes the picture altogether.